Hi, this is Chico Ray for Chico Ray Rocks. I'm with my good friend Terry Reed. We're at the world-famous Molly Malone's in Hollywood. Terry, what's happening? Oh, we are. We're happening. We're going to have a great, we're going to have a great gig tonight, aren't we, brother? Yeah, I'm telling you. No, this, is really, this is a great opportunity for me because I get to play with Jorge and you. Yeah. And we've known each other for... Well, I'm scared to say how long. Yeah. But anyway, but we, we're just doing and doing it on a real Latin theme tonight. So we're going to keep everything coming from that place, you know, which is interesting because it turns the songs, as you know, you yes. know, even rehearsing that, you know, you, we're deciding which, whether it's a, a rumba or a, <laughs> a samba right. or which way we're going to turn it, or even cra- though the tunes Or a crazy thing. lunatic salsa. Yeah, exactly. That would do so it. Uh, England was good. You, you enjoy being back in England? Yeah, I know. I'm going back in May. Always. Yeah. Well, no, no. You know, I'm going back in May only because they booked me. You know. Yeah. I mean, you, it's just, things over there are so expensive. I mean, not. To, I'm not moaning. They all are. But I'm just saying, anybody from England, all the lads that were here, will tell you it's just vicious. It's eleven bucks a gallon of gas, and that's before you get to the party. Wow. I mean, what are you gonna do? I mean, the bars and the beers and all and everything, and everything's just gone through the roof. So it's, it makes things tough for, you know, for kids to go out and have a good time, you know. But, uh, you know, still, I'm, hey, it's a blessing. I mean, uh, we've got a whole string of gigs to go over again. And there's a lot of the folks that I've known for years, you know, that, that we, came up, we all came up together. So they come to gigs and we have a, we have a good time, right. you know. You know, I wanted to ask you something about um, Rob Zombie and the Devil's Rejects, because I saw Rob last Halloween, and we always talking right. about it, and you know how much he loves you, and all the, all the kids just been such an influence on everybody from Cheat Check to Aerosmith, Jack White, uh, Rob Zombie, of course, and he really loves your, you know, the way, especially Seed of Memory. I think that's his you know favorite song. I'll tell you what happened. There's an interesting story. You know, you, sometimes you get struck by lightning or something, something like that. So there's a very good friend of mine, Joel High. Who, who was the original guy that ran uh, Lion, Lionsgate mm-hmm. films, right? And, uh, and then it, it got changed over into different things, and he went to do something else, right? But anyway, he and Rob have been good friends for years. Now, I've known Joe High for years and years. His favorite album, well, he loves River as well, right? So, but see the memory, that's his album. Every time I talk to him, now he gets Lionsgate, which is a <laughs> serious film company, and I hadn't seen him for years, and he called me up, and he goes, oh, I love that record, I love. And he says, you know, I'm working on this movie and uh, with a guy called Rob Zombie. And I said, God, I love Rob Zombie. He makes killer records, you know, it's a serious rock and roll. Yeah. And he goes, yeah, I want to play him that record. He, he, could, what, he needs one song for this movie. And I went, oh, me not having any idea what the movie's about. <laughs> Right. Right, right. So he talks to Rob. But nothing but murder and mayhem. Yeah, murder and, yeah. and, a, and a bit of bloodletting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's even funnier when I went to see it because I had no clue. But uh, he played it the album to Rob Zombie. Rob t- called him the next morning and went, I want these three in the movie. Yeah, he loved it. So I ended up with three songs in the movie and I, I, don't, I didn't know Rob at all at, at right. that point. And he just really got off on the album, which is very flattering, you know. But it, it fit. I think what it was, the timescape of where he was talking about in the movie and things. If you played something that was generally known, like the Eagles, or you, yeah. which is wonderful, but you played something, it takes attention away from the murder and mayhem that was going on. Right, right, So right. this would literally sort of, you know, put you in that time frame, right, and it would blend in, but even though it was pretty, but he used three songs in the movie, which was fantastic, you know. Would it, if you had a choice right now to make an album, I know we always talk about this, of course, yeah. but you would love to make an album with like George Benson and yeah, James Gatson and everybody, yeah. right? Yeah. I, with I, that, I, and even get Bill yeah. Withers out of retirement to play keyboard for you, you too, right? Well, yeah, well, maybe. You don't know if we get Bill, because even James, I don't know. Yeah. Something going on there. But I don't know. Definitely James Gadsden, because he's a good friend and he's, he's probably the finest drummer in the world, you know. Really is. I mean, uh, that goes with their saying, but Lee Miles, who I played with for years, and all of us, and, and some Latin people, and just uh, mix it up in, you know, I'd love to do a sort of a, a very quiet jazz album. I, I have the material. The reason I came up with that, and uh, George Benson, who is obviously 
you know, the finest distinctive guitar player in the world, who I met a while ago when we were working uh, back to back on an album. He was doing Breezing and I was doing Seed of Memory right, with Al right. Smith. That's right? right. And he was in the studio and he was the nicest guy that you ever met. Yeah. He walked in and tapped me on the shoulder. He goes, hello, Jerry. And I go, he says, I'm George. I said, I know. <laughs> George, I know you were George. I said, well, you? He said, well, I'm in in the daytimes. And I, I should have known because when I looked in the studio, there is a row of guitars that you have, you, you've never seen anything like this L5. I mean, things all pristine condition. You've never seen anything like this in your life. And they're all just sitting there. And he goes, look, help yourself, Terry. <laughs> if you want to play one, you know. I'm looking to see if I've got buttons on or a belt or something. <laughs> I don't know if I dare, yeah, you know. Yeah. Lovely guy. So it, it's, it don't, I like to play with people that have got a heart and are nice people that can mix it up and, you know, know with the, cut the attitudes and that. And that's, those people know how good they are. It's not a matter of that. It's just they could afford to be gentle and nice, you know. And it's, it's nice to play with people if, you know, if it comes up, you know. We, we chose, uh, you chose some really good uh, cross-section of songs, you know, that we're going to do tonight. Yeah. And uh, what goes into the decision process now to, you know, because you have so much material and things to choose from, what really spurs Who you on to do that? Them? Is that it's, really, is yeah, that what it is? That's it, because you know, you know I've got, well, you know I've got hundreds of songs. Yeah. And there's another hundred other than the hundred we sort of looked at, you know. And, uh, and, uh, when we started coloring it and doing it, we, you do a slightly a mixed thing and then you, you pop in a couple of things that, yes, I was known for years and years ago. But at the same time, you got, we got Jorge and you, and I wanted to just, hey, let's put this, just Latin play it up this. A bit. Yeah, and change <laughs> some of them into a Latin thing. Yeah, really, you know. So that's good. And on another thing, you know, if you're doing a, you know, if we do a rock and roll thing or something or other, then there's, that's a whole other bunch of songs, you know, a whole other bunch of, a whole different vibe. <laughs> Maybe that better. Oh, yeah. 
so I hope they're going down And every time it will turn your ass around Well, I pay for your fight You prove it Oh, gotta get You do that three movies Oh, I always say when you're doing rock, when you're in a rock and roll band, you're working like a clock. It's like everybody's a cog in a wheel, not some guy out front that just hollers and dick. No, everybody's got to work like mechanics. It's got to work like a clock. The best bands do, you know, whether it be Beatles or Police. I don't know. You're talking real, mecha you know, real network things. That it's very, it's very sophisticated what is going on inside that clock there, you know. No. Well, I'm I'm completely happy that we get to do these things. You know, we don't Me do it. Too, we man. don't we don't do it as often as we should. But well, I think in the future more. we will. Yeah, you know. And you've always been you've always been my hero. And you oh. know, <laughs> and you know, you're just a fantastic yeah, guy. Yeah, you're a good buddy. And, and you're one of yeah. the you're one of the greatest singer songwriters that this yeah. uh, ever graced this planet. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't want to keep you're keep us tall. too long because we got to do some sound checks. But this is Chico Ray from Chico Ray Rocks with Terry V. Let's say goodbye to everybody. Bye yeah, everybody. Bye. God bless. bye. i mm -hmm.